This is Team ER Sensor Repair Kit for PS5 DualSense Controller. Please be noted, the replacement sensor works with ALPS joystick shaft alone. It is not compatible with stick by Fu. This is how the Team ER sensor replaces the old potentiometer. You might ask which joysticks it is compatible with besides the DS5 and DSE. Here are two tech points. 1. Mechanically, the sensor fits ALPS with blue bottom alone, not for other ALPS or other joystick makers. 2. Electronically, this orange colored sensor defines that the VC pin must be located on pin 3. Eight Team ER sensors. Desoldering copper plate and thin wire for unlocking DSE module. This special tweezers was customized for splitting the potentiometer. Holder for DSE PCBA. Multi gauge braid wire performs better than traditional desoldering wicks. Flux tube. The Teflon wire works as a gauge to check the hole is standard 1.0 millimeter. This Team ER sensor works with PS5, DualSense, and Edge controller. I'm demonstrating the operation on DSE stick module. Split the sensor with the tweezers. Hold the PCBA on the desk. Apply some flux. Resolder the three joints. Put on the heating plate. Desolder the three pins at one time. Add some flux on the wire. Remove the solder. Cut the Teflon wire. Check the holes are 1.0 mm. Clean the PCB with alcohol. Take one Team ER sensor. Insert the sensor. Push it hard to the bottom. First, Press the right clip into the metal frame. And then press the left clip. You can cut the bottom post off if the sensor doesn't fit snugly into the metal frame. Make sure the sensor fits snagly with the metal frame with no gap. The magnet rotates smoothly as you rock the shaft. Solder the three pins. Cut the three pins. Connect the two pads to unlock the DSE module. Please ignore the step for original DS5. Cut the wire. That is about 16 millimeters long. Tin the wire. Solder the wire. Assemble the stick module. Insert the Team ER module in the right slot. Open the DualShock Tools GitHub web page. This reminder page tells DSE controller needs a hardware modification. We have done it with the blue wire. Click here to go to the GitHub project. Download the pre-compiled DualSense Edge module utility. Run the application. Both modules currently are locked. Now click to unlock the modules. The right module is successfully unlocked. Go back to DS Tools GUI again.
The joystick does not work fine. Its center is not at center, and the outer curve is not good. First, we follow the steps to calibrate its center. Now calibrate its outer range. You can manually set the data for the center and ranges. Set the data of center on D-pad step by step. Enlarge or decrease the range of for poles. I have done the calibration. It works really fine in DS tools. Save the changes. I go to Gamepad Tester for the final check. 